The adjacency matrix for a graph has a i j equal to 1 if there is an edge between vertex i and j. In a multigraph, a i j is the number of edges between the two vertices. And in a digraph, a i j is the number of edges from i to j. For example, we might want to try the adjacency matrix for the digraph. So the outgoing edges from 1 go to vertices 2 and 5, and so the first row will be all zeros except for the second and fifth positions. The outgoing edges from 2 go to vertices 1 and 4, so the second row again will be all zeros except the first and fourth entries. The outgoing edges from vertex 3 go to vertices 2, 4, and 6, so the third row will be... And we can find the remaining rows. In a simple graph, or a multigraph, the i, j entry of the nth power of the adjacency matrix gives the number of walks from vertex i to j. Meanwhile, the i, j entry of the nth power of the adjacency matrix for a digraph also gives the number of walks from vertex i to j. However, there is an important twist. For example, we might want to try to find the number of length 6 walks from vertex 3 to vertex 5. Now, we already found the adjacency matrix, so we find the 6th power of the adjacency matrix, which will be... And we want the entry in the third row, 5th column. So the A35 entry of A to the 6 is going to be... And so there are six paths from vertex 3 to vertex 5. And an important idea in math and in life, answer the next question. And in particular, we might notice the third column is all zeros except for the third entry. And this means the only length 6 walk to vertex 3 must start at vertex 3. In fact, let's take a look at shorter walks. We have the adjacency matrix, so we find A squared will be... And so this means the only length 2 walk to vertex 3 also starts at vertex 3. If we look at A cubed, there is a length 3 walk from vertex 6 to vertex 3. And we also find a to the 4th and a to the 5th will be, which means the only way we can get to vertex 3 is to start at vertex 3 or 6. This highlights an important difference between directed graphs and multigraphs or simple graphs. As they say in New England, in some cases, you can't get there from here.